Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to go ahead and remove tint or add tint to any vehicle you guys would like to. We're going to be using Blender with Solemn's plugin for this. And additionally, we are also going to be using Codewalker Dev version 45 or older. You're going to need those two things. Solemn's version is going to be, need to be uh, 2.1, I believe, or older. I'm going to be linking everything down in the description for you guys. So if you guys want to go ahead and check it out, feel free. Uh, but let's get into it. Uh, let's say you have a model like this that uh, the front windshield tints. So, for example, um, it doesn't really make it very realistic. Um, I want to go ahead and remove this tint. Uh, what we're going to go ahead and do is um, I'm just going to do a double check of the entire vehicle, making sure that none of the the actual uh, lights tint either. They doesn't. They don't seem to. So that should be fine. Uh, but we definitely want to remove this front tint. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump out of game. We're going to export our files from CodeWalker. Uh, we're going to get them into XML format. I'll show you guys how to do that uh, in a minute. And we'll jump into Blender. So I have Blender loaded up in the background here. And in the forefront, I have CodeWalker. Um, if you don't have a mods folder like I do here, um, you can go and just create one. Uh, just kind of like stops any hassles that there is because I just use this mod folder to import, export any of the projects that I'm doing kind of just on the fly, any, anything like that. I don't want to go mess with any of the other folders, so I just do it in this mods folder. Uh, you're going to grab the YFTs for your vehicle. There should be two. There should be the regular version and then also an underscore high version. Uh, and then with these, what you want to do is just highlight these, make sure that edit mode is on, and then just go ahead and export XML. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and make it into my original folder here. Uh, it'll take a second just to export depending on how big your file is. It shouldn't take too long. There you go. It should be done. And then we'll move over to uh, Blender and we'll import these into our Blender scene. Uh, two things to note. I forgot to mention in the beginning as well. You'll need another plugin called uh, Vertex Color Master, I believe is what it's called. I'll just show you guys real quick. Um, it's also going to be down in the description as well. So if you guys are uh, looking for that, uh, just look in the descri description. But we're going to need this one. And obviously, we're also going to need uh, our Solemns plugin. If you don't know how to do like install all these plugins or anything like that, there's a bunch of other videos out there that you can go ahead and uh, find that out. Uh, but I'm going to be linking the stuff that I'm using here in the description. So just figure out how to install them. It's, very, it's not very hard. Just click install and then um, just grab the files that you want to. So those are the plugins that we're going to need. So I'm going to go ahead and import this real quick. We're going to go down to import and uh, code walker. And then we'll go to my desktop and we'll find the 720 edit. And then also this. We'll click on the 720s edit, the XML, or sorry, the uh, the XML here. And then also we'll make sure that import with high is also checkmarked. So it's going to import this one as well at the same time. I'm going to wait a few seconds, depending on how big the file is, it's going to go ahead and import and roughly takes less than 10 seconds usually. And then you, there you go, took almost eight seconds. And there we have our model in uh, Blender. From here, we can hit shift uh, V and then we'll go to the left to uh, hit hide collisions. It's going to hide all of our collisions. We won't be able to see them anymore. And then also, if you hit shift V again, you can see all the like radial like things that you want. So for example, if you want just the, the very high quality version, we can do that. If we want just a high quality version, do that. But as you can see, this model uh, doesn't really have any other LOD types. So it's kind of just the, the two highs and very high. And that's pretty much what we're going to be using for this tutorial uh, because there's no medium, there's no low, there's no uh, very low. So it doesn't really matter. But let's get into how to actually change this tint. Um, so when we're going to be just clicking on the mesh that we want to change. We've already, uh, like I said, hidden all of the collisions, so it should not matter. And then you can see here that once I uh, selected this, it is actually the windscreen that is selected. And it's very, very simple what we're going to do from here is we're going to click on uh, the tabs here and go down to Vertex Paint. Uh, once we're in Vertex Paint, we'll hit our N key to bring up the toolbar on the right hand side. Uh, you might have to click on the VCM, uh, Vertex Color Master. And uh, from here, we'll click on the A, which means alpha, which is where the tint is stored, basically, for GTA. We'll hit isolate this channel. It'll isolate just the, um, it'll isolate only the alpha channel. And then we'll go ahead and uh, so for tints in regards for tints here, um, white will be the darkest tint and black will be no tint. It's kind of like counterintuitive. You'd expect white to be no tint and black to be tint, but it's actually the opposite. So tint, uh, sorry, so black means completely no tints at all 
and then white means fully pitch black tint. So what we want to do is just we'll drop this all the way down because for me, I don't want any tints on this vehicle. So we'll just go ahead and do that. And uh, very simple, we'll just click on uh, fill with value because our value is now black here. It'll do that and then you just apply changes. And just like that, that should be my windscreen. Um, just gone ahead and um, altered to not have tint anymore. But you might be wondering uh, what happens with the LOD. Well, you also have to do it for the LOD. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch back to object mode here. I'm gonna hit shift and V and I'll go down to high. Now, I know that it doesn't look like anything's changed because technically this model wasn't made to have proper LODs, but it is what it is. Uh, it's a model I found online. We'll go ahead and click on our vertex paint once again. We already have our toolbar open here. We'll click on isolate active channel, which is again our alpha that we clicked earlier. And then we'll go ahead again and select all the way down to the black. And we'll do fill with value. And we'll hit apply. And there we go. Uh, obviously, you can tell that the, the, the value kind of just like there's no more black when, um, when you hit apply. It's because you're no longer isolating that specific channel. But if I go, it should be it should be there again. Uh, so there you go. That's how you do that. And uh, I mean, honestly, you could tweak out the other values here. Um, usually, I I like to tweak them a little bit lower than than pitch black. If you want, you can click on these different windows and do that for these specific windows. It's just the same process that you want to go through. Is just clicking this mesh, going to edit vertex paint, and so on. Um, very very easy. I'm going to go ahead and export this, and I'll show you guys the result in-game. And uh, yeah, should, shouldn't take too, too long. We'll go ahead and export. We'll do desktop, and we'll do our 720 edit and edit. Uh, what we want to do as well, because I have only uh, checkmarked is the selected objects. Where we're going to click on is the 720, which is going to be my selected object, and I'll hit export. Again, usually takes within less than 10 seconds, so we'll let it do its thing here. And there we go. It is done. Uh, from here, I will go ahead and open up our code walker again. I just delete these. They're not, I mean, I could put them in my current and my export, but it's, I mean, it doesn't really matter. It's the way you want to workflow it. And then here we have our uh, XMLs that have been exported from, um, uh, sorry, Blender. You could see from it's at 312, 313. I mean, they just did it. Yes, it is quite late here. And I'm making this tutorial at 3 a.m. Don't judge me. Thank you. Uh, but then we just basically, again, we want to make sure that edit mode is on. We'll drag these into our code walker. And then what I just do is I drag them back out. And then we have our YFTs. And I'll put that into uh, my streaming folder for this project. And I'll show you guys what it looks like in game. So we are back in game here. And uh, I went ahead and spawned the vehicle. So we'll go ahead and look at the mods and just change the tint. And as you can see, if I cycle through them very quickly, uh, the front windshield does not tint, so we have successfully removed all the tint from it. Um, if you want to do any like like lighter tints, darker tints on the sides, like I said uh, previously, you can go ahead and do so. It's just a matter of just changing the values between white and uh, black. If you want just a lighter gray or a darker gray, like I said, um, the dark colors make it so there's no tint. The light colors make it that there's a, a harsher tint. So if you want kind of a dark tint but still see-through, some probably like a dark smoke or something like that, it's probably going to be like a, a lighter gray. Um, so just play around with the values, and you can see that it's all working. I'll go with the darkest tint as well and show you guys that also at distance that we've also changed the other LOD. So you can see at distance uh, there is, you can see, I mean, it's very hard to see because we're, we're at distance now. But um, I can see very, very far in the distance. Maybe I'll zoom in on the uh, edit. You can see I could see the pavement on the uh, uh, through the windshield. So um, it is working. Uh, so that's how you go ahead and fix your window tint. I hope that helped you guys. I just finished recording that other video and I just want to kind of uh, put this in here. So it's going to look a little bit out of order. But if you want to do something cool as well is if you want, for example, to just have um, a sun strip tinted whenever it actually does tint the windscreen or whatever it may be, it is possible to do that. So you just go ahead and uh, like I did before your alpha channel, you want to isolate that. And then we'll just everything's going to be painted black, but we're going to uh, paint the uh, top part, paint the vertices here that we can find. Uh, we're going to paint these um, in a white this I kind of have to I kind of have to figure out where the vertices are here. Basically we're painting all of these little vertices 
uh, white here in the middle of the triangle is a little bit too dark. It's probably going to look a little bit weird in game, but I mean, this is just a showing that it does work. We'll hit apply. You have to edit the uh, different LOD versions. So make sure to go ahead and edit your high and very high in this instance of this vehicle. Uh, if you are going to be making these tweaks of just the sun strip, because I, I don't show it in the video, but you got to do both I, again. I'll go ahead and export that, do all the code walker stuff, and just show you guys real quick. So uh, snap of the fingers, you guys are going to be in game. So we are back in game here, and I'll go ahead and navigate through our menus to get to our tint. And there we go. And as you can see, it is tinting. Um, and if I do like the darkest tint, I mean, it, again, I, not my personal choice, but as you can see, because we have tinted the, um, we did we did change those uh, those um, vertices to be white. It actually is tinting the top. So if you want to do some sort of funky sunshade like that, you can. Um, you just got to paint the vertices a different color. Um, again, not my cup of tea. That triangle as well in the middle. Um, it's kind of you have to be a little bit finicky with it, but not my cup of tea. But at the same time, really whatever you guys want to do with your cars, it is possible. Uh, if you want to do a gradient all the way down, you could. Again not my car not really my problem so i just want to show you guys that that works um and back to the past me i hope you guys kind of understand if you guys have any uh, questions feel free to go ahead and drop them down in the description below and additionally if you guys um want to go ahead and join any of the discords like the code walker discord or the solemns discord i'll link that down in the description for more help for further tutorials or um, just general questions. And additionally as well, um, I want to say a big thank you to everybody in the Solemns Discord that has helped me with any issues that I've had, uh, especially with CP helping me with this one in particular. He kind of taught me how to do this, uh, especially with the Vertex Color Master and stuff like that. So big shout outs to those guys and um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, you learned something. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, whatever you guys want to do. I really do appreciate all of the support. And just even if you made it this far into the video, I really appreciate it. Like, comment, subscribe, all that fun jazz. And I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Deuces. I'm out of here.